All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. <clears throat> Uh, I apologize a little bit being late. Uh, I have uh, looked like maybe I will have a flu. Maybe I don't know. Um, so anyway, uh, let us invite our friends and let us invite uh, the Muslims, uh, the Muhammadan who believe in Allah and His Messenger to be the best of mankind, and Allah is the only true God according to them. Uh, we will not waste time. <clears throat> we will go straight to the topic. If you are a Muslim, feel free to call me immediately. As you see in front of me, it says miracles of the Quran. And this is a topic we spoke about it before many times. But for me, I believe that I cannot believe that someone he claimed to be God, he say what he says in this page. The Muslims, they made this page supposedly to promote Islam and to fool those who like science but actually the same page they made to promote Islam is the same page will prove to you Islam is false and if you don't believe me here we go we have an open challenge for any Muslim to call us and choose any topic in this page and the same topic he chose for us is going to prove Islam to be a false cult <clears throat> If you are a Muslim and you are proud about your belief, well, feel free. Just give us a call in Skype, only Muslim, please. And let me see if I have. Some Abduls online from those who text me or call me names. Hmm. Let us see. This is the problem when you go in Skype, you find like a thousand texts and you don't know who is the Abdul between them. And people, they send me message, messages, they are funny, I mean, useless, like hi and hello. And, <clears throat> and we said many times, please don't do that. But like you speak to nobody. So now I have to click at messages to see if there is any between them Abdul. Hi CP, how are you? You believe it? Okay. Okay, as long as we don't have a Muslim here. <clears throat> we have somebody asking uh, from the Philippines. Uh, can I ask what can you say is the earth is a flat or round based on the Bible? Okay, well, this is a good question. We can go with this. At least something better than hi and how are you? There's nowhere it says in the Bible that the earth is a flat. In fact, the earth is in the Bible mentioned to be in the shape of a uh, not a ball it's like uh what exactly the earth is like i'm trying to find the, the english word let me see what i can find uh, uh <clears throat> what the bible says in the translation to use better word from what you know you know, you know english is my first uh, language yeah uh, i can i can use the word like a ball but this is not an accurate really to say it <clears throat> because this is not what the Bible says. 
Uh, if we go to the book of Job, many books actually, the Bible Misha many time. <coughs> You know, the Muslims always they fabricate things and if there is a Muslim actually can call us and talk about the flat earth, we will come here. All right. Do we have any Muslim on a call? I'm just waiting for a Muslim because we can open, we can choose this topic to be the topic to compare between what the Bible says about the earth and what the Quran <coughs> says about the earth. Any Muslim? Somebody? <coughs> Because I hear this uh, many time where the Muslims they say to us uh, such a claim but the the funny is uh, can you support your claim and I know what they use usually they say to you the Bible says the four corners of the earth but this is a figure of speech is used today after all the science we say this is not about uh, the shape of the earth but we can prove easy from the Quran that the Quran speak many time about the earth shape and it is a flat <clears throat> anyone any Muslim So we understand that there is no Muslim is accepting the challenge. You see here we're giving you <clears throat> an equal opportunity to prove to us what you claim. <clears throat> Who want to do that? No? Okay, <clears throat> let us try <clears throat> one by one, and I will use actually <clears throat> again. Excuse me, I'm uh, my throat doesn't feel good, so I'll try not to speak long today. Uh, maybe, maybe before we go and make the answer. Anyone? Nobody? I'm really disappointed that, uh, you know, Muslims, they have um, big mouth. They speak about uh, bad things in the Bible, and now suddenly nobody want to talk about it. They are so proud, and they are very sure until they meet somebody he knew what he's talking about and the second they meet that person they don't want to talk about it so who is the muslim going to tell us about something the muslim keep repeating that the earth in the bible is a flat anyone any two any half one Mm -hmm. It look like we are out of them. Nobody. Is that the last call? May they, may they? The last call? One, two, one, two? <laughs> 
All right, you see, like, look like we try to encourage them and even we give them a chance to compare between two books, uh, but yet they don't want to go for it. And that's the issue. They have a big mouth as long you don't, uh, they know that you, you can make it with you. You know, they know that maybe uh, they have a, they have a chance of ignorance with you. This is the book of Isaiah, as we see in the front of us in the screen. And you can read any translation you wish. Now, for sure, this is a translation. But at the end of the day, it's speaking about the shape of the earth. <clears throat> and as you see, the translation sometimes use the word the globe, sometimes use the word circle, uh, sometimes, but it doesn't matter really. Like, uh, it says it clearly what is the shape of the earth. And there's no other book in the whole universe mentioned such a thing before. Never. <clears throat> Are we lying, Muslims? So who is the one is lying about the shape of the earth? Is it us or the Muslims? Is it us really who lie? Hmm? Do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> Nobody? Okay. So, uh, the verse alone in the front of us is enough to prove their lie, actually. Otherwise, you tell me why you lie. If you read the verses, be 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 uh, like uh, beside this verse, or actually the same verse. The Muslims they made tons of uh, uh, scientific miracle about uh, that. Uh, uh, the Quran says Allah <coughs> will extend the heaven. Allah will extend the heaven, and the and the scientists discover. That the earth, sorry, the, the 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 space is extending. But this is first is not in the Quran, and I will show you what the Quran says. It is here. Who stretches out the heaven like a curtain, and he spread them like a tent to do well in. And then he here you sees, it is he who sit above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like a gross a gross bird. So, the Muslims they fabricate things is not exist, and always they play the game of okay, the Bible say this and the Bible say that. But the second a Muslim he says that to you, says to him, where do you get this from? Can you show me where it says the earth is flat? Is that because it says the four corners of the earth? Well, you know, tons of books written today they are using the same figure of speech. This is a figure of speech about direction of the earth. Today we have in the map, we have south and we have east and we have west, but in fact, in reality, there's no south, there's no east, there's no west. Scientifically, it's strong. And I'm saying, I'm saying scientifically, I mean scientifically, which means physically, there's nothing that's called south and nothing called east and nothing called west. This is a figure of speech. And a figure of speech here have a meaning because we are the one who created the map and we said okay we will decide to call this west and we call this uh, east and we call this is north and we call this is uh, 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 south so we are the one who made a decision about what to call things and we are the one who made the map if the map is made in different way the, the east will be different you know like now when we say the word east we meant always where the sun is coming from so based on that point uh, so when they want they make it science when they want they, they make it not to be science and as you see we as a Christian we don't talk about the Bible speaking about science because it's not supposed to be a book of science anyway but the Muslims is the one who speak about science now if we go and see what the Quran is saying about the same matter which we didn't ask about about the earth and how the earth looked like if we go to this website, the Quran Miracle website, let us see all everything Muhammad he spoke about uh, the earth 
is absolutely false <clears throat> and you name it earth you see I just find it earth rotating sphere let us see if this is true خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق يكور الليل والنهار ويكور النهار على الليل وسخر الشمس والقمر وكل يجري إلى لمستق إلى لأجل مسمى. Now the Muslim they say here that Allah is speaking about how the earth run around itself, but is that true? They say to you that it says here the word يكور. Let us see what the word يكور يكور according to them mean. How could look at this? The Arabic word kawara mean ball. The word kawara mean ball. May ball take you. Kawara is about a cycle where something follows something else. And that's what the Quran is talking about. And we can prove it very easy. And let us get them busted. Shall we? We go to the Quran. <clears throat> And as usual, you know, we never use anything except Islamic books. As you know, we don't use our own. We don't use, you know, we use pure Islamic books and we prove it. We will show you the Islamic interpretation. We will show you uh, What and how Islam understood this verse for thousand for more than a thousand year. <clears throat> All right. Look how the Muslims themselves they translate the word you cover. Do you see anyone saying here that it's like a ball? This is one a translation. I will show you all translation are possible. It doesn't matter really. Here it says warbing the day about the night. So Warbin, he created the heaven and the earth in truth. Warbin the night about the day and Warbin the day about the night. Please, only if you are a Muslim, call me. If you are not, don't call. Only if you are a Muslim, you can call. Only, please. All right. So here, the fact the Quran here not not speaking about a miracle, the Quran is speaking about a mistake, and we will prove it. How the earth generate what it's called night and day? The Quran claim that there is a cycle where Allah He warp the day on the night and He warp the night on the day. And there is no ball is running and there is no ball is spinning and this is absolutely a lie if we go to the interpretation <clears throat> and actually we better not like uh, let us let us go to something more like more uh, have more proof more more uh, clear proof if we go and see what muhammad he said about this issue how the how the day and the night are generated we will find muhammad saying the following And Muhammad will get them busted. This is the first story of Muhammad. Muhammad confirming what is written in the Quran that the sun set in a murky water as you see in the front of your eyes so the first lie the Muslims they say to us that the earth is like a ball and the movement of the earth is making the day and the night when Muhammad he claimed that the sun is the one is moving from point A to point B and in different hadith he 
explain to us what is the point B. Read with me carefully. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset. I, I he said, "Do you know uh, Abu Dhar? Do you know where the sun set?" He said, which means the Prophet. Uh, after I said to him, "You and Allah knows best," he said, "It goes and prostrate underneath Allah throne." And that is Allah's statement. And the sun run into its fixed course for a term degreed. And that from chapter 36, verse number 38. So Muhammad was quoting the Quran, explaining the Quran. Now, this is Sahir Bukhari. The Muslim cannot say to us, This is not authentic. We don't agree with it. We don't approve it, as you see. Now, why in their article they are saying that the discover in that verse saying that the, the, the day and the night happen because the earth is like a globe going around itself? When in fact, nowhere it says that, and their prophet, he got them busted. And who knows better the Quran than the one who brought the Quran or the founder of the Quran? If Muhammad he says that, can a Muslim say to Muhammad, you are a liar? What do you think, guys? Why they lie? Here we go. Their prophet, he explained the verse for us. According to Muhammad, every day the sun set and goes and sit in the murky water, and that is under the throne of Allah. The day and the night in Islam is explained by such a verse and such a statement from Muhammad. Can I say more? If Muhammad says so, you Muslims, you will not agree with Muhammad now? Are you going to accuse him to be a liar? Are you Muslim going to say Muhammad is a big fat liar? This is your prophet. He is the one who brought the Quran for you. So what we will do now? So it's obvious. Uh, they lie in order to make you believe in something not true to be true. They fabricate translation. They make it fit with their own agenda and they claim the Quran is speaking about science. Now, additional proof that the Quran is speaking falsely about the shape of the earth. The Quran itself mentioned many times that the earth is a flat, literally, and we can show that easy. If we go in the Quran, Chapter 71, verse number 19. Wallahu ja'ala lakum al-arda bisatan. And it's Allah who made for you the earth as a carpet. I mean, can we make it more? Yes, we can make it more clear. Let us see. We have more, a lot more. We have tons of verses, actually. There's a verse the Muslims they have tons of videos speaking about that Allah spoke about the earth is a shape of an egg And this is chapter 79 verse number 30, but in fact This verse it doesn't say that it says the opposite the word the haha mean he make it a flat The Muslims they lie they make a video copy paste and they they say that the word the haha Mean the earth is a flat. Sorry. The earth is like an egg if I go right now Let me find you the videos in YouTube I will search on YouTube in a second and I will find you how many videos the Muslims they made claiming that the Quran is saying that the earth is in shape of an egg and they are using the same exact verse. Right, I did this little uh, search.
I wish I can play for you Islamic uh, videos, but you know, like sometimes they they claim a copyright over them. But I will try to show you. Maybe they took it off after. You see, actually, I made a video about it here. Earth in the shape of an egg, and this is many years ago. That people they are copying my videos as usual. Um. Anyway, if you if you watch, here we go. Egg-shaped earth in the Quran. If you click the video, you will see they are speaking about the same verse we are talking about, and you will see that this is absolutely a false statement. And the guy who is making this video here is nothing but an egg. An egg. I think it's obvious. Yeah, I think it's obvious that the earth is an egg. Okay, I don't know what is that. Uh, look like I, I I thought I'm going to find something. Uh, the shape of the earth. <clears throat> you know, the shape of the earth in the Quran. Okay, let us see. Maybe we can find something. This is Islamic. Islamic. Uh, here we go. See, this is the same thing. They say to you that the word Daha is coming from the word the egg of the ostrich, which is false. That is a different word. You see? Here we go. And they will quote for you the exact verse we are reading about. Let us see. This is a video made by, uh, you see, here we go, the ha ha. This is a video made by uh, uh, Harun Yahya, the one who is in jail now for child molestation in, in Turkey. And he is using the same verses we are talking about. So the ha ha simply have nothing to do with what they are saying. The ha ha is a word mean you make something flat, you spread it out. And to prove our point, we can go right now and read any interpretation of the Muslim choice, anything. And actually, we can go to the dictionary too. So it's a big fat lie, and they fabricate always lies to make science which is not exist. And this is why, really, I don't respect Islam as a religion, because if Islam is a good religion, should make should should make out of Muslims, uh, you know, truthful people. Not people fabricate lies, and they make things up. So if the Quran says in chapter 79 verse number 30 that Allah he made the earth flat why you make it the opposite and you say Allah he make it uh, uh, Like a shape of an egg. Where do you get the egg from? If you read all the translation here if we go here in this page if we switch to all translation or exist Can we find one of them saying the word egg? You will not find one single translator saying the word egg Why because simply it doesn't say that Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? If the word there is an egg, why the Quran, why the translators, even who, okay, forget about me. Christian Prince, he is working in the Quran translation and he's going to make a translation and maybe uh, we trust, we don't trust him because he's a Christian. Hmm? What about your translators? Which one? Which one you want to, uh, to, to show you? Which one? You choose for me. Who's a Muslim in the text? Choose one for me and you will see not even one of them says what you say. It's a lie. This is big tal. You see, he spread the earth. How it's in the shape of an egg, and then it turned to be spread the earth. Forget about big tal. Big tal, maybe he is working for me. Uh, let us see. Uh, let us see the famous ones. Uh, Shakir, Muhammad Shakir. He expanded after that. This guy, he make it expanded. Okay, no comment. Um, let us see, Maududi. The Muslim they like Maududi. Maududi is a moderator, uh, you know, try to defend the Quran. Even Maududi, Mr. Dudi, he is saying he spread the earth out. Well, I mean, what do you want? Even Maududi, who make a lot of lies to defend the Quran, even this guy, he says he spread the earth out. So, why you say this is about the earth in the shape of an egg? It's a lie, right. Now, as long we are here in this verse, as you see, Allah in the Quran He says, Allah He placed the earth in the top of the, the sorry the mountains in the top of the earth in verse number thirty-two. But just to show you what the meaning of this verse before it, so people will not say, I'm going to go and see the interpretation as it is. All right. So we go to chapter seventy-nine. 
verse number 30. I will choose that interpretation in front of you. So they will not say we are making things up. Okay, verse number 30. Here we go. Tafsir al-Jalalain. Guys, do you see what it says? And after that, he spread out the earth and he made it flat. So imagine, because of the lies who they are making fabricated science in the Quran, the word flat by a miraculous liar, it turned to be an egg. Do you see it? How it is a flat, and yet you say to us in your videos that the Quran says the earth, the word the ha, mean, mean uh, egg. I'm sure many they are getting hungry now. But do you see how and why I don't really respect anyone even who call himself a scholar in Islam because they love to lie a Muslim he's allowed in order to promote his cult to lie to you as simple as that and if we ask ourselves what kind of religion or cult the one who allow lying in order to prove something not exist unless it's a bad cult unless it's satanic jesus said either you say yeah yeah or nay nay that's it which means you don't even swear that's it be truthful always i'm not going to lie about the bible to make you believe in the bible right so they lie and i cannot believe that allah he said that if he is God if Allah is God I mean how in the world you do not know how the earth shape is if we go to the verse number 33 the verse after it how Allah he says that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth uh, it was verse number 32 32 sorry Allah is God, but yet he says he placed the earth in the top of the earth. And he has set firm mountains on the face of the earth. According to the Quran, Allah, after he created the earth, he placed mountains in the top of it. Is that science or this is a madness? All of us we knew that mountains is generated by the pressure of the <coughs> of the magma <coughs> sorry or by the pressure of the tectonic plate <coughs> I told you I have a look like I will going to have a cold so the Quran mentioned that actually not only in one place the Quran mentioned that the the mountains is a place in the top of the earth in many places places in order to stop the earth from shaking the Muslims they say and I will show you from the Islamic miracle website speaking about the mountains to this one we get them busted but hold on hold on hold on there's another one one here I, I, I don't want to miss this one how could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that all move that all move sun moon and earth how he knew that where, where, where is that where is that here where where where, where is where it says that the move and the earth and the sun move which actually you see this is how they lie to you what it says in the in the Arabic text it says that he created the sky and the earth <clears throat> by the truth and <clears throat> which mean <clears throat> what my voice which mean by jesus actually bilhaq haq the truth is the messiah you cover layla ala nahar wa you cover nahar ala light 
وكلن يجري لمستقر له let us go and see the interpretation shall we of this additional we prove that the earth is not flat we showed you that already and we prove it and we can prove many verses but we hear there's other additional mistake because the Quran is verse saying that each one of them run to a fixed course each one of them so the Quran claimed that the day and the night and the moon and the Sun all is running and here we go this is their Muslim translation read with me carefully not my translation the same website making the miracle is the same website getting the Quran busted read carefully Allah created the heaven and the earth in truth he overlaps the this is your translation not my translation you kawiru in Arabic you kawiru the night over the day so he overlap what the day and the night okay and he overlap the day over the night so once he uh, he overlap the night over the day and then once he do overlap the night over the uh, the day over the night and enslaved the sun what enslaved let us say let's, let's go and stay it's funny the sun and the moon and all do you see they are the one who said in big letters all so based in you and your science the day and the night the sun and the moon are moving what is the earth secondly the day does not move and the night does not move that is a fiction when the Quran says all move counting all the previous ones so Allah created the earth and the heaven okay and here there's a dot as you see stop bingo then what he did he overlaps and I'm using the Muslim translation not mine the night over the day the day over the night and the Sun and the moon all move so the Quran is clearly saying that the Sun and the earth and the and the and sorry not the earth he's mentioning only the moon and the Sun and the day and the night they are moving in a curse and this is false because the, the the night and the day they are not really exist there's nothing is moving what all and if somebody want to say to me the world all here goes only to the moon and the Sun that would be wrong in Arabic because in Arabic we have the word for both if they are two because as you see here mentioning the Sun and the moon it says all and obviously it goes for all so the Sun and the earth and the moon and the day all of them they are moving and he is explaining here what explaining the movement of the day and the night what the Sun moving have to do with the day and the night if there's any Muslim listening the verse in the front of us explaining clearly how and according to Muslims here we go I'm not the one who's saying that earth is rotating spare how why they are saying earth because it's explained supposedly about the day and the night how the day and the night happen as simple as that so how you explain the day and the night happening by saying the Sun and the moon they are moving who is the stupid here what the moon even have to do with the day and the night in order to explain to me the day and the night and how you say to me the day and the night happen because the Sun and the moon they are moving and this is why I say I cannot believe he said this how Allah he said this the same verses the same translation prove to us that Allah is a fake false God you want to explain to me the day and the night by saying the Sun and the moon they are moving since when and the funny they say to you how how someone is illiterate he knew this 1400 years ago <laughs> you know 
they are assuming that you are an ignorant and you do not know how to read and you are not a deep th uh, thinker and they can fool you easy and here we go bingo like wow how illiterate man he knew this what what he knew what he knew is stupid what he just said is a is a stupid thing different one As long they are they have this in the same page. I'm not going to skip it How could a literate man live 14 years ago have known that the the, the uh, All move the Sun and the moon and the earth what where it says the earth do you see the earth is saying that it doesn't say the earth is moving You are a liar And we got your budget from Muhammad Muhammad explained how the Sun Where the Sun goes every day the Sun is the Sun is going Muhammad he said that the Sun set in a murky water as you see the Quran confirmed that the Sun is set in a murky water as you see in the screen and I show you the verse So the first thing you notice when Muslims they claim about science and or speak about science and the Quran is dishonesty. Until when he reached the sitting place, the sitting of the sun, he found it sitting in a muddy spring. And nearby he found people too. I mean, this is confirming the story now. Suppose he became make it more, more clear. And here we go. This is the height of your prophet saying yes, confirming, explaining the Quran that the sun, according to Muhammad, sit in a murky water, hot water. Do you see it? So why they lie? Where is the science? Where is the amazing knowledge? Where is the amazing God? Why you say to us how Muhammad knew this fourteen hundred years ago? Huh? Why you lie to us? Where is the dignity? Where is the honesty? I mean, okay, you see, if you believe in God and your God, whatever He is, either you are proud about Him or you are ashamed. And I believe that Muslims, because they are ashamed of their God, they lie about what the Quran is saying. Otherwise, why you lie? As an example, if an atheist he said to me now, the Bible says that Mary she gave birth as a virgin, and this is against science. I'm not going to say this is not against science. I will agree. This is against science. No, I believe it. You don't believe it. This is your business. Correct? This is against science. There's no way in the world anyone can make you believe that a virgin gave birth without a man. This is absolutely against science. But we believe in it. We are not going to lie. And say oh no it's agree with science and fabricate the stories and say the Bible doesn't say that you know we will not do that this is our belief you like it you don't like it it's your business are we following people but because they choose deception as a way to mislead and to convert people they do it this way we as a Christians we would never do that let us say in the Bible there is something there against science and somebody says to me how this is you know I would say I believe you know I believe in it even if you can prove that this is impossible hmm. it is impossible Jesus he curse a tree and the tree die immediately that's impossible that's not science we believe that Jesus have the power and he is God on earth so he can do it is it scientific is it does it fit with science absolutely not you can say to a tree from now until the coming 10 years die 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 and the tree will be there laughing at you right 
right? So they fabricate lies as much as they wish. Where the sun goes every day? Muhammad, he asked a question to his companion. Muhammad, he confirmed that the sun goes and sits in a murky water every day. Why the Muslim did not mention this to us when they make their miracle? Hmm? Same time, if we go in the Quran, When the Quran says that the sun set in a murky water, and Muhammad confirmed that the Muslim they tried to say, Oh, it it is him, uh, the Zulqarnain, the guy who called him the guy with the two horn. This is what Zulqarnain mean. He thought the sun sitting in the murky water. It doesn't say that. It say the one is talking is Allah. It's Allah is saying that. And when he reached the sitting place of the sun you see here the translation doesn't say more details but it's okay you can change the translator you will see how translation change until he reached the sitting sun the sitting place of the sun change the translation you will see how the, the, the you know uh, how suddenly everything change let us see uh, let us see Yusuf Ali <clears throat> Look at this. Until when he reached the sitting of the sun. First of all, let me let, let me ask the Muslims: Do I need to go anywhere to reach the sitting place of the sun? The guy he went in a trip, and at the end of his trip, his trip is not a day, is not two, is not a three, is not four. His trip took him all his life. This is a life journey. It took him from the east to the west. This is not about something happening one day. Remember that. So this guy, he was going and going and going until he arrived to the point where there's nothing behind. Where is that? Where the sun set. Is that accurate? He found the sitting place of the sun. Let us see the interpretation. Maybe Christian Prince is giving false interpretation. Chapter 18, verse number 86. Do it in the front of you. <clears throat> and a Jalalain. Jalalain is you know like, uh, is, is a new scholar compared to the like there's older scholars which means this guy he is more educated so he will try to cover up the stupidity of the Quran but as you see read with me carefully until when he reached the sitting of the Sun the Sun the place where it's set do you see it guys do you see it am I making things up he reached where the sitting place of the sun, the sun where it's set, it's a space, it's a garage. <laughs> Why did it not mention that as long as you are talking about the movement of the sun? Here we go. The Quran speak about how the sun moves. So he arrived where the sun set and he found it sitting in a muddy spring. Here at Jalalain, he tried to explain to cover the ass of the Quran. So he says, which is a black clay is sitting in the spring is described as seen from perspective of the eye for otherwise it's far larger than the size of this world this is a jalalain trying to defend the quran but hold on that will not work why because the verse itself it doesn't say this is how it appeared to him that's a lie secondly muhammad he got you busted as you see muhammad he confirmed that the sun set in the murky water do you see it 
So what we will do with Muhammad now? So they try to defend something stupid in the Quran because it is impossible and they knew that there's no way God will say that so they fabricate interpretation but actually even in the interpretation he has given us proving the Quran to be false why because he just said until he reached the sitting of the Sun the place where it said how you say to me this is from his eye perspective and the one is talking is Allah is not the guy secondly how I need and where where I can find the sitting place of the Sun you just you are the one who just said the place where it's set guys did, does it say that in his in, in the same interpretation he found where the Sun set the place where it's set when you say he found where the place the place and this is in your interpretation that's mean there is a place this is not from an eye perspective he arrived there He arrived to this place. If you see an older scholars from all generation, you will see that they will not try to defend it. Only those who associate, like in the uh, you know 13, 14 centuries and after that, where people start noticing that this is all fictions. So people they change start start changing their mind about what what the sun and how the sun move. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad, saying, Till he reached the sitting place of the sun, where the sun set, he found it sitting in the middle of spring, a black and muddy and the stinking spring, stinking. And it's also said, this is mean, a hot spring. He found people, and not only that, the verse saying, he found people next to the sitting place of the sun. Not only he found it, what are you perspective? If this is eye perspective, as you see, apparently, so how you find people next to it? From eye perspective, the sun set everywhere. I do not need to go to anywhere to find where the sun set. I can be sitting here next to my window and I see where the sun set. Do I need to travel? Because the Quran is saying, until he reach. He reached a point where what? Where the sun set. So how you lie and you say this is from eye perspective and this is why he uh, it appeared to him like this, trying to cover up for the Quran. What it's mean until he reached? That's meaning the guy, he was walking and walking and walking for a journey, long journey, not a day, not two. This guy, Alexander the Great, he spent his life in war, going from place to place. Do you see how they lie? And always <clears throat> the purpose of the lie is to make you believe that they are not liars. Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim? So the the pages the Muslims they made for us about the Quran miracle is a lie. If we go here just a few verses about where the sun set you will see not only that this guy he changed his direction what a life story so this is not something happened in a day this is took him years and years he is looking for where the sun set and he will then he went and he found where the sun rise then he followed another way which means opposite direction until he come to the rising of the sun what do you mean? He changed his direction and he went, keep going, keep going for a month, for two, for a year. We do not know for how long. And then until he arrived where the, he found where the sun rise. 
well he can find where the sun rise exactly where in this point he was why he's going there because simply this is not from an eye perspective he was moving looking literally where the sun set and where the sun rise this is the end of the world this is the two edge of the flat earth so here he found in verse number 86 he found where the sun set in the murky water and we showed you Muhammad confirming that in the hadith as you see so the Muslim cannot lie and they cannot say this is a wrong understanding and then he changed direction and he went all the way and he found the sun rising place and he found rising on people he found it rising on people in that place I mean how funny is that In that place, he found it rising in, in people, so it's not like rising in different place, only in that place is rising. And then here comes the story of Gog and Magog, which is nothing but a fiction. I never saw a Muslim speaking about this scientific miracle. Gog and Magog, he found people there, and they said to him, Ozul Qurnain, the guy with the two horns. Gog and Magog are people who are great in mischief in the earth. First of all, they are not people. They are not a human. Gog and Magog, they are not a human. They are a special kind of creatures and they are very aggressive. And each one of them he is so good in sex to the point before he die, he make at least 1,000 baby. They have ears which is the right ear is like a tent and at night they sleep inside it they don't have houses they sleep inside their ear and by the way this is this is true i saw that in the middle east always you know we have big ears so gog and magog nation uh, they asked Dul Qurnain, can you do something about, uh, sorry, sorry the, the people who live there, they are complaining about Gog and Magog, they are attacking them. Can you do something? And they suggest to him to build a barrier between them and those people, as you see. He built a dam between them and this nation. And how and what is the material is made from? Read with me carefully. Bring me blocks of iron at length. You know, you can read the description. So it's a mix of iron and copper, and he mixed it together and he made a dam between them and between those people. So now, according to Muhammad, those people, or sorry, those the, the, the this, those creatures. They are digging every day to get out of the of the dam which is built by Zulkarnain. And Zulkarnain dam is the only reason for them not to attack the whole universe. Let me show you what Muhammad he said about this. <clears throat> this is the false prophet Muhammad look what he said this is in his time today the wall barrier of Gog and Magog has been opened so much Muhammad he claimed that this barrier opened so much and it was in the size of his finger and this is very dangerous Muhammad was scaring that to, to hell his, his followers the prophet said a hole has been opened in the dam of Gog and Magog. Talking about today when he was speaking about it. As you see, the hole repeating the same story. But there is more funny story, Muhammad he mentioned. Why Gog and Magog? They are not able to open the big hole so they can penetrate and they come to attack the whole world anyone knows who remember
Anyone remember? And this is, by the way, a sign from the Judgment Day, the people of Gog and Magog, or the creation of Gog and Magog. Anyone remember why they are not able to come through the dam until now? Anyone remember? This is a pure science now. The people of Gog and Magog, or the creation of Gog and Magog, every day they dig from the morning until night a hole in the dam which is made by Zulkarnain. But every day when they start, they forgot to say, Inshallah. What? They forgot to say, Inshallah. So they spend the whole day digging and they don't say inshallah. So they come in the morning and they found the hole which they dig yesterday is totally closed. So they start again and they dig again until the night. And then they go to sleep. They come back in the morning and they forgot to say because they forgot to say inshallah. Allah close the hole again so they will be doing that for almost eternity until one day their leader he will say oh tomorrow inshallah we are going to come back to work and then when they dig the hole, the hole will not be closed by Allah. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this before? So they are digging right now as we speak, every day, every day. Since thousands of years, every day they dig and they make a mistake. They forget to say, inshallah. And because of that, Allah, he closed the hole on them again. By the second morning they come, they found that that's not working. Now, if somebody is saying to me, this is a lie, I can find the hadith. Any Muslim is saying this is a lie? Anyone? Let us find the hadith. Hold on. As long as there's no challenge anyway, what we can do? Anyway, I never say something unless it's true. Here we go. I think this is the one. Yeah, here we go. This is the one. Yeah. And guess what? It is Sahih. <clears throat> so they cannot say it's a lie. It's fabricated. It's shish kebab. You know them. Now let us read the story and love together. Gog and Magog, people dig every day. Until when they can almost see the rays of the sun, which means going through the hole, the one they are digging. The one in charge, this is Captain uh, Trump, of them says, go back and we will dig it tomorrow. So they keep digging, digging, digging until they, they make a hole, little hole, and they see the ray of the sun coming through. Then Allah, he put it back. True story. Stronger than it was before. Uh-oh. And this is will continue between two bracket until when their time has come Allah wants them to send them against the people so Allah will unleash them to kill us all you know Gog and Magog is coming 
Hey, by the way, I, I don't want to describe for you the size of their penises. You have, you have to be careful about that too. This is why they have a they have the energy of one thousand men in sex. I mean, that's true story too. And then they will dig until can almost see the ray of the sun. Then one in the charge. Okay, what what will happen this time? Then the one who is in charge of them will say, "Go back." We will dig it tomorrow, inshallah. If Allah wills, here we go. This is the, this is the password. Now, bingo. He's just said the password. I mean, you idiot. Why you don't say that from long time? Ah, because Allah did not. He didn't. He don't want him to say. They are programmed. You know, they are programmed. They are like ants. So now he says, we will go back and dig it tomorrow, inshallah. If Allah wills. And then they will say, if Allah wills, all agree. Oh, suddenly they keep all, all they are believers, they are Muslims too, criminal Muslims. Then they will come back in it and it will be as they left it, which means this time that's it. Allah will not close it no more. Why? Because they said, inshallah. And actually, this has happened with me. I was fixing the roof of my garage. You know, I have an old house, what we can say. And uh, uh, the roof uh, uh, was was collapsing and I fix it I come in the morning I found it not fixed I fix it again I come in the morning I found it not fixed I fix it for the third day the fourth day the fifth day I mean I spend a lot of money and why it's not being fixed because always when I work I am not saying inshallah true story every day I fix it I come back it's not there then after like a century of doing that i said to myself why i don't try and say inshallah i said inshallah i found the, the the roof fixed by itself i did not even touch it it started like fixing itself like a cartoon tom and jerry so then they will say in inshallah and they will dig and they will come out. Ooh. And look what will happen. They will suck all the water in the earth. They will drink all the water. That's it. There's no water in the earth. And they will shoot their arrows in the sky. And they will come back with the blood on them. And they will say, we have defeated people of the earth. The whole earth is that set. Gog and Magog took over. Here, we need to... Uh, uh, to stop a little bit. Those those creatures not only they are not a human they are thousands of time more than us so if we, there is if there is seven billion a human being those creatures gog and magog they should be like maybe uh, uh, you know uh, seven thousand billion a human being because one of them is equal to one thousand of us according to muhammad each one of them at least one thousand one or if each one of them he make one thousand before he die one thousand baby and they grow up very fast like trees i mean like not like 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 magic magical tree so he have sex today his wife she lay eggs tomorrow and the baby come and the day after he is an adult so then the other boy he will he will have another 1000 well where we can find them they are now preserved be behind a dam in the earth which is preventing them from coming on us all the satellites we have we cannot find such a dam and we cannot find such a people. And for sure, this is a scientific story in the Quran. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, there's tons of stories about this. We can go all over it. But as you see, Muslims they try to fool you and say the Quran is a book of science when the Quran is nothing but a book of a collection of fairy tale stories. 
yet if you are a person who do not know they can fool you and by the way if this is made from iron I mean this dam why I need to dig in it by time this iron of dam is going to be rusted and is going to collapse by itself for how many years this iron of dam was was able to survive why they are even digging as long that the dam is made from iron so as you see Muslims they fabricate stories in order to fool you and they assume always that you are an ignorant and you are not going to check out and you will not do your homework you will not search so we can say to you we can make an article and say to you how a brother how could an illiterate man know this 1400 years ago how he knew that <laughs> how you know what I'm saying how he can know yeah we are laughing at how so the whole point they try to make like make you uh, uh, amazed like how how Muhammad he knew this if this is not from God how hello how and look here Russ you want to answer can you answer justify the some passages and no, no, no. rest we have a topic I don't need to justify anything you believe you don't believe it's your business and who are you to tell me to justify what an idiot yeah uh, master al will ins chapter 55 verse number 33 in istatatum and ten for the women of tari samawati wal ard fan for the let them for the una illa be sultan we will close today with this so people are complaining my videos are wrong so we'll try to make them short the muslims here they make this one about miracle but the fact is the opposite let us see The meter in Arabic is uh, Qatar. Qatar. It's a plural name for Aqtar. Okay, <clears throat> let us see what is that. And then it says, the meters are property of a circle, of a sphere. Only this confirmed previous verse to make to make into a ball, you can wear. So they are using this verse here to say to you that the word here is using the word Aqtar, which you see in the screen. And they are saying that the word Aqtar it's a it's a, a property of a, a circle this is this is false Akhtar in Arabic Akhtar in Arabic <clears throat> is a territory so like you say uh, Saudi Arabia is a Qatar uh, Jordan is a Qatar so Akhtar is all of them Akhtar al-Dual al-Arabiya which means the territories of the uh, uh, Arabian states uh, are you a Muslim I hope so hello um hello hello brother yes my friend so, i just want to tell you that uh, you can see at the comment mm -hmm. comments uh at youtube and then uh there's a uh, indonesian people cannot talk english properly but uh they say like you fabricate uh the meaning the, the meaning of them like their books you know well i'm showing the i'm showing the screen I'm showing in the screen what the what the, the uh, uh, what the scholars they say how I can fabricate. Um, yeah, I know, but but it's yeah. They said like um, in Indonesian in Bahasa Indonesian mm -hmm. words, they say you fabricate. Um, you just like uh, no problem. Tell can the they truth. prove it? Who who is the one who to prove it? Tell him. Tell them in in your language who is brave who can speak English to me. He is willing to call me and prove me that I am fabricating in anything I say right now. Oh, okay. Uh, jadi untuk para saudara yang ada di Indonesia yang bilang kalau uh, Christian Prince itu uh, membelokkan artinya bisa telepon ke Skype debat debate TV. 
Yeah, let them uh, call me okay. and I will be happy okay. to. Uh, the one who proved me to be a liar uh, will make you an admin in the chat. Yeah, uh, okay. So you can you can you can ban the Christians from the chat. I make you happy. <laughs> anyway, there's, there's a Muslim yeah. trying to call. Let me let's let us see what he, what he want to say. Thank you, my friend, for calling. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> let us see this guy. <coughs> Assalamu alaikum. Yes, Abdul. How are you? I'm good. Hmm. What do you think about this verse in the front of us on the screen? Let me see. Yes, what? What's okay. wrong? The Muslim they are saying that this is about a scientific miracle in the Quran. Do you agree? Yes. What? What? What is the miracle? Explain to us. Go ahead. And we talk about the other miracles in the Quran. Well, we have one in the screen. I mean, we have one is hot in the pizza, uh, uh, you know, uh, tray. Why wanna okay. like when we start talking about it? We have to finish it. Okay, is it about the sun's orbit or by, or by the Earth's orbit? I don't know. You tell me. This is you. Are, you are the one who just said to me, "This is a scientific miracle." Yet you do not know what it is. How you said yes? I said to you, "Is that scientific miracle?" You said yes. So how you say to me, yes, it is scientific miracle, but you do not know what is the miracle and what is science about it? Uh, I'm asking you, is let it me about call, Let me take another Muslim. You know, someone is smarter. Hello? Hello? Yes. Uh, how are you doing? I'm fine, Mr. Abdul. How are you? Uh, my name is Abraham. Welcome, Ibrahim. Uh, if you have too many applications, close them, please, so I can hear you better. What do you want to say, Ibrahim? Sorry? Uh, your voice is cutting. What do you want to say to us? Hello? I hear you. What do you want to say? Mr. Abdul, I mayday, mayday. You. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. Mayday, mayday, Abdul. Go ahead. What do you want to say? I hear nothing. Huh? If you want to connect on uh, on Facebook, uh, I don't hear you, my friend. Sorry. Did you say Inshallah before you call me, my friend? Can you hear me? Uh, and, uh, hardly, I can hear. Okay, go, go I ahead. Can't say. Hear you at all. all right, he cannot hear me at all. What I can say, I mean, he cannot hear me. The verse in the front of us. Not only it's a proven that there is no science in the Quran. He's calling me again. I mean, why you call me if you're not? Yes, Mr. Abdul. Hello. Hello. Yes. What do you want to say to us? Okay, I'm not going to spend the day saying hello and hi. Let us see this guy. Look like we have no choice. Yes. So did you find what is scientific about this verse? Yes. What is scientific about it? The sun's orbit. This is about the sun's orbit? How? Oh, is it about the night and the day? How? Oh, uh, this verse is talking about the night and the day, right? Okay, I don't know how. You tell me. Oh, there's nothing scientific about it. You told Almost, me there's uh, scientific about it, and the and the and the website saying how the how you, you agree with me. It says how yes. literate man knows this 1400 years ago. So this is science. Now let me show you how we stupid this verse, and I want you to to support what I am saying or go against it if you please. You are a Muslim, Abdul, so you defend your religion and you have the right to do so. This verse saying that Allah He challenged mankind to go out of the earth. Read carefully yes. the earth and the heaven. Read carefully. Yes. Oh company of jinn and man escape and they hear the word they use the word diameters, which is false. Akhtar is territory of the heaven and the earth. If you can and you want escape without authority. Do you believe in that? No, no. You don't believe in the Quran? No, it, it wasn't that time. 
now it's different oh at that time ah, so Allah he was challenging the man and the human being to go to the sky and that at that time now it's different yes but the uh, genies don't live in earth it's they live in heaven genie they live in earth as I know since oh. when they live in heaven what are you talking about hmm. it says here uh, you get out okay let us let us go and see the that interpretation uh, is that fine with you oh but just live in heaven no, no. should we go and see the interpretation because as you see people from Indonesia they are saying I'm lying about that interpretation what interpretation you like me to show you choose one yeah, but just uh, don't tell me it's a blah, blah blah blah. I choose interpretation. Let's solve this problem. Which interpretation you like me to show you? No, I mean, they will not read it for you, they will not accept to show you anything. And they will not. The verse here is saying it clearly that Allah challenging mankind to go to the sky. Without authority, and the authority is given only to the prophet and the angels. It's a challenge, and you cannot. But the funny, don't call me, don't call me. I don't like, I don't want kids to talk. Don't call me, let your dad call me. <clears throat> let us go and see the interpretation for this verse and love together. Chapter 55, verse number 33. You notice he said to you at that time, it's okay, and at this time. Why? Because this is the only way to cover uh, the, the ass of Muhammad. Oh, company of the jinn, if you have the power to able to penetrate, to break free, from the region not the diameter as it says region territory of the heaven and the earth from the rows of the angels then penetrate them you cannot why let us see why <laughs> oh boy it's explained in the Quran why you cannot go. Read carefully with me. According to the Quran, and this is the science of Allah, Allah is challenging the mankind and the genie to get out beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth pass if you can but you cannot why because if you try we will shoot you with the stars made from copper fire and copper do you see it okay the soviet union they went to the moon and they went to the space and nobody shot their ass the American went I mean soon they will have a trip to Mars and nobody is shooting the ass of anyone Muhammad he never imagined that time will come and people will escape the zone of the earth so he decided to make a challenge oh people not only people even genie Genie and men together huh? make a company corporation try to get out in different verse in the Quran it says the following <clears throat> Why Allah created the stars One of the reasons to create the stars because he shoot the ass of the genie if he tried to go out of the zone of the earth Specifically to the shaitan Chapter 67 verse number 5 it says and we have adorned the lower heaven with lamps and we and have made them a means to drive away Satan we prepared for them a chest made of a blazing fire 
In fact, the translation is not too much accurate. It says literally, which means we stone them by the stars. So we made we made lamps and we stone the shaitan if he try to go up to the heaven. This is science. Let us read that interpretation. Maybe Christian Prince is giving false interpretation. That what what the, the, like as the, as the uh, people from Indonesia they were saying. Chapter sixty-seven, verse number five. Let us go there. In the front of your eyes. And verily we have beautified the word heaven the word heaven and this is the first heaven the lowest heaven only in the lowest heaven There are stars which is proven to be false. What is lowest heaven? With lamps with the stars and we made them ie the stars missiles to drive the devil to shoot the devil Do you see it? Some of them they are become bewitched and some of them they are killed why some other they are burned <laughs> <laughs> Star War is the first created by Allah. This is not the project of George Bush. So according to Allah, if a genie try to escape the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot his ass with the biggest star, but the earth is so small compared to the star. How you want to kill a genie Muhammad he capture him and he tie him in a column of a house Which means he's like in the size of a monkey You want to kill him by a star, but he's in the earth how you can shoot so Muhammad he imagined That the shooting stars we see those are stars and Allah he shoot The devil who he tried to spy at Allah Actually, that is mentioned in the Quran. If we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran saying, Chapter 15, verse number 18. The Muslim they say this verse is speaking here about the atmosphere. Allah He protected. The sky would protect their roof. But the fact the protected roof the Quran is talking about is a protected roof in the opposite direction, which means it's not something will go inside the earth, it's something will leave the earth. So regime. So we created the sky, the zodiacal sign, as you see, and we protected it from any devil. What does that mean? The same as the other verse that they try to go up to the heaven. And what is the purpose of this? All of you, you watch James Bond and how they spy at each other. So, according to the Quran, some of the shaitan they will be able and successful to escape the zone of the earth to spy at Allah, as you see. But any then that gains a hearing by his teeth is pursued. By a flaming fire. So when Shaitan he tried to spy at Allah, Allah he shoot his ass and he burn it. And this is why here we say that in the interpretation it says about this verse that some of them they are uh, when they when when they go to the to the uh, sky those Shaitan to spy at Allah, Allah he shoot them. He made the stars as missiles for the devils, missiles to the devils such that some of them become bewitched and some are killed and some they are burned and this is very normal imagine uh, allah he throw the sun at your ass i mean your, your ass will be burned will become pizza and this is very scientific and yet they say to us in the islamic website how how the prophet he was illiterate and he knew this 1400 years ago how he knew this 
How? And you are telling me that the Quran is not a book of science? You must be kidding me. Islam is based on a book of stupidity, and the stupidity try to make you believe that it is a smart. Now that is the bent in how stupid you are. And I have to be honest, some people are very stupid. And they are convinced that this is a book teaching science. If you want to learn more about Quran and science, you can go and get my books from Amazon, and you will have tons of reference and details, and you will die laughing at the comedy, which is amazingly what is mistake and stupid suddenly became science for many. I'm not going to stay longer, as I said to you, my throat is hurting me. I want to say thank you for being here. And I will try later if I feel better my throat. I will try later to come online if I can. Please share and give a like and invite your friends. And all of those who they call themselves uh, or they say uh, Christian Prince is lying, uh, feel free to get me busted. I am almost every day on, on air. And every day when I, when I speak about something, I show it in the screen. I never said something. It is not showing on the screen. I show, I, I show what I'm talking about. And you cannot prove me wrong. And this is a challenge for all of you. Challenge to your God, the challenge to your prophet, the challenge to you, challenge your two scholars. Do your best. Who can prove me wrong? Can you? You cannot. So I hope that the Muslims will have the courage. Not the claim of doing that. Now, before we finish, somebody saying to me that uh, uh, he's saying to me, how you can justify that why some passages and the verses in the current Bible do not appear in the ancient manuscript that have been founded such and such and codex? The answer is very simple, my friend. First of all, they appear. Secondly, what what is not appearing, as you say. Uh, when we say an ancient manuscript, it's a manuscript, it's not books, it's a collection of papers. So what is available proving the Bible to be correct today? Not a single page proving the Bible to be wrong. So what is available is, is manuscript. It's not a full book. It's papers. And the more we discover, the more we confirm the Bible we have in the front of our, our hand. It's not the opposite. So... Your, 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 your question is foolish. You have not even a single manuscript for the Quran. We have thousands of manuscripts, and the more we discover, the more we find that it is a true. So the question here, why we cannot find manuscript which is opposing the Bible we have? The Bible, remember, <clears throat> we have a book is written, you know, 2,000 years ago. The Muslims, they have a book written 600 years after Jesus, yet they don't have. I just saw in the news, in uh, in RT News, that they are uh, uh, displaying the oldest Quran in the world in China now, and it is, uh, uh, you know, in the, the for the 14 centuries. 14 centuries. 1,400 years after Jesus. They have nothing. And when we ask the Muslims why, they say it's hard to, to find the original copy. Why? Because it's very old. We have tons of manuscript. Same time, not only manuscript confirm our Bible, even art. Because remember, since the beginning of Christianity, people, they were doing art. It's called the art of mosaic. So there's icons, you know, like drawing, as an example, the, the, the story of Jesus. Uh, making uh, the miracle of the wine, the story of Jesus in the cross, the story of Jesus uh, uh, in the water or the fish, all of this is registered by art. So we have a very authentic, Stones is talking about the stories of Jesus, confirming the Bible. And the more we discover manuscript, which is very old, the more we confirm the Bible we have today. Not the opposite, like Muslims, they have. They have the Quran of Samarkand is not in agreement with the Quran they have it today. The Quran of Sana'a is not in agreement with the Quran today. Even the page which they found two years ago in Birmingham, they may, they make a big story about it, and then we find that it is not exactly the same as the Quran today. So they have nothing, and even if they have it, who cares? Here we go. Your Quran is a stupid book. 
I wish that we can find the original Quran as it is so we can love more because if this is the Quran we see nothing but jokes so thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you again I will try to go again today please you know I I, I before I said I will uh, I will ask for 15,000 right for review just because we are trying to get more shares uh, YouTube they sent me a message about the video which is called the most dangerous animals the Muslims they flag it like crazy they are so upset from that video but we are going to take it back all right so if you try to view it now you will not find it there but by by the coming 24 hours is going to come back because it's a it's a false flag they are so angry from that video this is why I say to you always please download my videos they are very painful and the truth always hurt thank you and may the Lord bless you and see you again soon bye bye